At the Illinois Masonic Home near Sullivan, there is a unique collection. We are, are standing in the Ward Museum. These two people were world travelers, and in their travels, uh, they picked up a number of artifacts uh, which were displayed in their two rooms of their home for a number of years. Abraham Lincoln Ward was born in 1860, three months after his namesake received the presidential nomination. Later, he and his wife would travel the world, purchasing and collecting whatever caught their fancy. We have a, a number of antique firearms, a spinning wheel. We have a, a number of things in the collection, such as uh, iron items, uh, uh, whale oil lamps. Uh, uh, this case here, for instance, is, is a case full of glass paperweights, uh, things that you just don't see today. Uh, very interesting collection. But it's the shells people remember. On display are 10,000 salt and freshwater shells gathered by Mr. Ward. Shells in various sizes, colors, and shapes. It's one of the largest such collections in the United States. For 30 years, the collection grew, taking up increasing space in their farmhouse. But by the 1940s, childless and aging, the couple took steps to ensure that it remained intact. In a move that took six months, in 1948, the collection came to the Illinois Masonic Home to an addition the wards had built. And in doing so, they wanted to uh, donate a sufficient amount of money to create a space that would house the collection and spread it out so it was nice and viewable for the public. But they were very meticulous, uh, and as, as I understand, Mrs. Ward uh, uh, personally supervised the placement of every piece in the uh, museum and supervised the building of all the cases. My predecessor, uh, James Hart, uh, who is, was the administrator for 36 years, he had told me that he uh, would go pick up Mrs. Ward and bring her to the facility to visit the collection occasionally. And uh, she would sit in here and reminisce for a period of time and, and then Mr. Hart would take her back to Shelbyville. Those collections were recorded in a catalog the Wards compiled, listing each and every item. Unfortunately, after their deaths, the executor of the estate burned the only copy along with some papers, leaving the origins a mystery. We have a land grant uh, uh, in one of the cases uh, uh, signed by President Andrew Jackson. There is a German Bible in there that I've been told is a Gutenberg. I'm not, can't verify that fact. And there's also a number of uh, China dolls in this case over here. I have been told that Mrs. Ward's hobby was collecting glassware and probably at least half of this collection displayed is antique glassware, goblets and, uh, and that type of uh, artifact. What is amazing to me is how this collection could possibly be displayed in two rooms of a farmhouse. I've been here since 1965 and during that time, this collection has been uh, cleaned twice. And it takes uh, approximately two and a half or three months to do that. Since 1948, when Cora supervised the placement of items, not a single thing has been added or removed. For the wards, this was more than just a collection. It represented the bookmarks of their travels. It's not uh, advertised a lot and so many people are unaware that it is here. To reach the Illinois Masonic Home which houses the Ward Collection call 217-728-4394.